Ne. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Uh, good. <laughs> it's. I'd say good afternoon to you because I'm in Australia and it's 1 p.m. But good morning to you. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Australia and my name's Marshall. So where are you from? I'm from India. My name is Sagar. Cool, cool, cool. That's great. So are you in a classroom right now? What? Are you in a classroom? Yes, yes. In the my ah. classroom. I am a teacher, that's why uh, it's a uh, free period, that's why I do conversations with you. That's awesome, that's awesome. <laughs> so what yeah. kind of students do you teach? Do you teach like university students or? Uh, here, that is to up to the 7th grade, to up to the 12th grade here, that's why I am to teach for in private school. I see. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> I hope the kids, the kids are good to you. Because in Australia, they can be a bit rowdy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. And yeah. you teacher or you do hijab? Well, I've just got the English teaching right now. But uh, I'd like to do some other stuff, I think. But uh, yeah, this gets me by. It gives me enough money. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool, and that's cool. Which part of Australia you are living? I'm in Sydney, Australia. So yeah, the East Coast and uh, it's pretty nice. We got a lot of nice beaches, a lot of fun. <laughs> yes. And uh, how that is to uh, uh, weather for in Australia? Please tell me something about. The weather in Australia. Do you want to hear about it right now? Like the weather right now? Because uh, weather right now, it's looking cloudy. It might rain a little later. But in general, Australia is pretty warm and uh, we have a lot of nice sunny days for going to the beach. Uh, it never snows. It never snows in Australia. <laughs> oh, unless you're on like a mountain or something. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it can rain. Uh, it rains pretty often. We get droughts like every mm -hmm. few years or so, though. That's pretty bad. But uh, no droughts right now. So that's good. <laughs> okay. Okay. And uh, please tell me about for something that is to how to learn English and which is the tips you give for that is to learn English. Tips for learning English. Cool. Let me think. Let me think. I would say. Hello. You'll be able to pick out patterns and how people talk and what people say and such. So I'd say like watch a lot of stuff with English speakers in it. That that's important. But uh, yeah, I feel like basic grammar books. You you're a bit above that level. You probably don't need that. <laughs> but yeah, okay. just watch a lot of watch and listen to a lot of English stuff. <laughs> you know how that is. To sometimes uh, I've been speaking that is to in the frankly that is speaking speaking. And uh, sometimes, you know, for that is to grammar is also so important. But actually, I know that is to grammatical uh, here to use for we were supposed to uh, should, could, and will, would. That is also, but you know, for sometimes I know that is to here to apply that uh, sentences. But sometimes I am to anyone that is to front person. That's uh, I am to speaking for English. But uh, sometimes, you know, for that is to where to use, I know, but uh, frankly speaking, they, I couldn't understand where to use. Mm, I see. So when you find when you're talking, it's hard to understand when to use which phrase. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Okay, let me think. Because if you already know, like, what the, like, what everything is, but you're having a hard time like using it in practice. I think the only solution there would be to just talk more. Because <laughs> okay. yeah. yeah, if you if you already understand everything, but you're having a hard time like talking about it, you just gotta talk more. Which you can either like talk with people, or you can you can try and talk on like Google Translate. And like talk with your phone and the phone will tell like whether it understands you or not. <laughs> okay, okay. But yeah, I'd say that's pretty, pretty important for you, I think. 
it's absolutely right and uh, how have been that is to you using that cambly app how helpful is using cambly it's pretty good for practicing like what you know with like uh you get to practice talking with a lot of english speakers there are a lot of english teachers on here for really basic level people and they really break everything down to really small bits but i think you're above that level so you might not need that uh hmm let me think oh yeah cambly's great cambly's great overall <laughs> okay and please you uh, please tell me your opinion for my english was that <laughs> tell you what i think about your english yes my english that is good cool your english sounds like really good you do sound like you i can tell you're from india but uh you uh, you sound very smart very intelligent right <laughs> so yeah uh let me think hmm oh yeah cuz what 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 subject do you teach in india i am to teach for chemistry subject ah oh, chemistry i always found chemistry so hard <laughs> in school as cool that's cool oh yeah and english have you been speaking english like uh growing up when you were a kid or yes yes uh, okay okay that's good that's good cool cool but yeah in that case english is great right <laughs> yes you know for that is to you say for that is to which subject are you teach and uh, which is subject that is also but you know for suppose to i am to teach for chemistry subject there only that is to uh, using for uh, scientific languages also that is to know another supposed to uh, conversations not here there uh, in chemistry subject only that is to reading for a chemistry scientific language anyway whatever may be that is to subject you for uh, biology as well as physics math there are no to supposed to it's not reading only that is english subject that is to reading for conversations like here only that is to for scientific language using hmm okay okay yeah scientific language scientific language is always like real hard to study <laughs> okay. speaking yeah yeah hmm let me think oh yeah how long have you been a teacher for yes <laughs> Did you hear me? <laughs> no. no. Oh, it's so how long have you been teaching the uh, students for? No, I am to recently joining, not more than a month to happen, but just recently. Mm. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> And do you like it? Do you like being a teacher at the school? Yes, yes. <laughs> Cool. Ah, uh, that's good. That's good. Ah, uh, I've got like I have one friend who also teaches like the same age range, and uh, he likes it as well. I think he likes it. He says it's a lot of hard work though being a teacher. It's it's a very nice thing because you know for sometimes I am to teach and uh, the student is also that is to satisfaction supposed they are didn't to understanding for problems and other sometimes I am to understand that problems. It's a very satisfaction to give. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's satisfying when you help people understand new topics. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> There's also I think uh, and coordinate that to each other. It's very nicely thing because uh, our that is confidence level is also increases and the student is also increases. Sometimes they didn't understand and to sometimes I also that didn't understand some mistake is also that happened as well as error maybe. So I do recently that is to solve it. Hmm, that's cool. You sound like a great teacher. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it's, yeah. It's to enjoying a thing for in that job. Hmm, it would be a satisfying job. Yeah, it must be. It must be. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yes. Because do you have? Oh well, we don't have much time. I think I'd have to start saying goodbye now. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I had a great talk. I hope you uh I hope you enjoyed this call. <laughs> okay, nice to meet you. Yeah, it's nice being here. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. There you go.